Hi everyone, this is Pedro from Pythonista. Uh, in this video, I will demonstrate how to make your terminal looks pretty uh, with all my Porsche. And not only pretty, it's going to look uh, make you look much more professional and also it's going to help you to, if you're using Python, for example, like me and Git, it do you have you an idea, not an idea, but oh, will show like what Python version are you using, which branch are you in, if you are behind on your commits, it's really nice and it's like I said, it's gonna show you much more professional. But before I continue, if you can subscribe to the channel, don't forget and also click uh, on the bell that you can receive notifications and obviously like this video for more people to watch it. So let's get started here. Uh, I think you can see my terminal. Um, you can see that the Linux terminal that comes, it's it's pretty ugly. So you can see that, uh, yeah, it show if I, let's say if I change to home here, yeah, it show that you are at home here uh let's for example go back to um to my oh, i went to the root now I'm, I'm at home let's see what directory here let's get into the bash uh oh, i don't have any folders at the moment but anyway it's pretty ugly i'll show you how a nice terminal would look like i have this one that i have on my posh so you can see that it's really nice and colorful. I have the time here in 24 hours. That's the way I like it. But if I go to my directory here, for example, and then if I have a Git, it shows the full path, what Git, which branch I am. Uh, I don't have any other branch, but it shows that what Python version I'm using, 3.11, and it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. So I'm just going to demonstrate in this video how to do it. I'm just going to remove this one. So that's going to be those steps here. First, I will install unzip because uh, I have a bare bone version of Linux that I installed. And then I'm just first step, I'm just going to install unzip because I'm going to use in the process. I'm going to install all my Porsche manually. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, adds to bash rc which is uh, a file that executes every time that you start a terminal uh, and then i'll just quickly restart the shell just to the change to take effect and there is an important step here uh, most of the um, themes are going to use a special font that i'll tell you which one it is I'm not going to show you how to install fonts, but I'll refer to a very good video that walk you through that I'll put down here on the video description. And then lastly, I'm going to show you how to set your terminal, uh, the Windows terminal app. And at the end, I'll show you how to change the theme because it comes with a default theme that you may like, you may not like. For example, the theme that I use is not the default and then I'll just install a different one but you can pick from a list or even you can design your own theme so let's get started I'm just gonna open a new um, Chrome tab here where I'm gonna go directly to the oh my posh website uh, you go first to Linux, that's my case. There are two ways to install it. You can use Homebrew or you can do it manually. I'll do it manually with you, which is better because you have to install Homebrew. If you already have Homebrew, it's just like do a brew install and that's pretty easy. But let's to assume that you don't have Homebrew. And let's install it. Uh, first, I think I need to let me close this one. Uh, I think it's um, at get unzip. Uh, I think it needs to put sudo at get unzip, maybe. 
and then password. Oops. Uh, well, let me just click. Let me just find out uh, on the browser. Uh, so, is it Linux? Yeah, probably. Um, Ah, uh, sudo apt get. I don't know why I put, I think it's app dash get. But anyway, let's do it this way. Yes. All right. Installed. Um, and then let's go back to the, on my posh. Uh, website so first one is I'm, I need to download the I go one step by step and then you can see how's the whole process done so yeah downloading so while it's downloading I'm just gonna copy the next one which is just change the directory permissions it's almost there 60 70 I probably I'll just cut this part in the video It'll be easier. Great. Uh, let's get the next one, which is make a new directory called Posh Themes. That's where we're gonna download the themes. Um, back to the browser. Now let's download the uh, themes, the one that comes with it. So, and that's uh, next step is um, unzip. That's why we installed unzip. Done. That was quick. Uh, what's happening here? I don't like this terminal. It just doesn't minimize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the last one is not required, but let's do it anyway, which is um, just clean the, the, just remove the files that I downloaded. Done. So once it's done, it's pretty much installed. What you need to do is to exec bash. But nothing is going to happen because I missed one part. I need to add a, uh, a, a, a one line in the bash RC file. So to get to the bash RC file, every Linux comes with this um, file called bash RC, which is this dot bash RC file. This file executes every time that you start a terminal. So to get into this, you can use Vim or uh, there is also Nano. I like to use Vim. Um, better than nano, but it doesn't matter. For Vim, you do uh, just so um, just type the name of the file vim.bashrc, and that's gonna open the file. What you're just gonna do is just go at the bottom of the file, and then you just um, press the I, which is gonna be insert mode. Uh, and then you go back to the website on the prompt here. And then you have to uh, copy. Uh, uh, yeah, bash, also in PowerShell. And then you go and copy this little guy here. And then paste just paste and then you do escape and then colon x and then you do x like bash and then voila so now you have uh, all my Porsche installed so but there is a problem here with those icons uh, what you have to do is to have that font installed, but to get that font installed, you go, uh, I'm using an app called uh, Terminal, which 
Okay, to get rid of those things here, bringing the icons that you need, you just go to this little arrow here and then you click settings and then you go to the terminal, which is that one here, Ubuntu, that we we are working on and then we go to appearance and then you go to font and then you just get this Manslow GL that's the one that you have to install in your system if you don't have it installed from factory and then you put save and then when you close you have it here so but uh, now if we go back to the yeah Oh my Porsche website, you see that there are themes that you can choose uh, here. And then all those themes come with the um, pre-installed when, when you download. Uh, the one that I'm using is, I think it's this one. No, it's similar to this one, but let's use this clean detailed one. Uh, what you have to do is I'm just gonna show you where in the theme you can have to you have to copy in your theme uh, not in your theme in your bash rc file uh, let me just get to the website again um, I think it's showing no, it's not here. Customize prompt. Uh, I've got somewhere here, but I'm just what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cheat. I'm just gonna go to this one and then let's go to my hi guys. I'm just recording this uh, last part of the video that I got confused and I make a mistake and I got into my bash or C file that I had some password and I had to trim the video. And then I recorded I think twice and it was a little bit of a mess. I'm just gonna record again the last step, which is how to change the theme, which is probably the most important part of uh, all my Porsche. Uh, as I was explaining here on the website, you have these places where you have themes. So the themes are actually saved on a nice in a folder called um, uh, Porsche themes so you can see that there's a bunch of JSON file so everything is uh, defined on a JSON file I'm just gonna show you how a JSON file looks like so it's this bunch of like curly braces with indentation here which is key, key value pairs which is the language that you can write uh, personalize and customize themes I'm not going to uh, tell this in this video you can go on the documentation and find out yourself here uh, on uh, I think it's customized explaining how to, how to do it uh, what I'm trying to explain here is how to change the themes in those themes that comes with the installation so oops uh, I'm just gonna minimize this one so if you go to themes these are the themes that are already installed so let's change to the atomic atomic theme so the way you do it uh, i have here the oh my bash rc file so you have to write this uh, um, command here which is called evolve and then you put an inverted comma dollar oh my patch you need bash dash dash config and then the path to the uh, file so in this case let's change to the I think it's atomic is that what you reset so atomic so I hope the and then you uh, the file is there so I think it is so if the prompt change and then it's gonna be there let's uh, let's clean this uh it's a uh, bash so yeah now change to that atomic thing so that's and then you can play around if and try different things to see uh to, to have one that you like so this one is pretty cool anyway thank you very much and sorry for my confusion uh, and hope this uh this video was help for you guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And also uh, 
click on notifications on the bell to receive notification and then if you still have any questions don't hesitate to comment below and whatever questions you have about terminal and then i'm more than happy to ask you uh, not to ask to answer you thank you very much